Oh, so you think he gonna kick the bucket? Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> Don't you know the most dangerous thing a black man could do is go skydiving? <laughs> Except for maybe Will Smith. Now, I have to disagree with you on that. I think the most dangerous thing a black man could do is go into a cabin in the woods with a bunch of white folks, like in the movies. I mean, we never survive that. <laughs> Wait a minute, do black people even camp? Look, I can't speak for all black folks, but I know I don't camp, because that's too close to homelessness for me, okay? Because all I need to do is miss one month's rent, and I'll be camping permanently. And living on the street is not a part of my bucket list, okay? <laughs> but you know what's on my bucket list? What? Yeah, I I've always wanted to go see the motherland. Oh, man, that's cool. Yeah. You know, I always wanted to do some skinny dipping. Yeah, I, I don't know about that, uh, Kenny. <laughs> I, I, I tried it once at this pool party, and when I got out of the water, um, everybody uh, kind of was laughing at me. <laughs> it was a cold day. I haven't seen you in a while, bro. Yeah, man, I was just in the area for an audition. Oh, that's dope, man. Did you book it? No, man. You know, and I went in there, I told him, I said, look, I'm born for this role. Right. And I forgot all my lines. Damn, bro. Did you study? Yeah, man, I studied all night with my brother. Yeah. He ended up getting the role. <laughs> Well, look, man, I'm rooting for you to get the next one, huh? Especially since you owe me for all them free haircuts oh, I've been giving you. Right, see, uh -huh. see, you're going to be the first person I pay back once I hit it big. OK, OK. <laughs> Damn, Smitty, you can't enter without knocking. I got company. Oh, sorry, Kenny. I just need to use the restroom. I had some of Mabel's prune cheesecake with caramelized onions. Got my bowels running like Usain Bolt on skate. <laughs> it's all right. Just open up the windows, turn up the sound, pretend I'm not here. You can use your own restroom? Toilet's busted. Still? It's been weeks. Well, I called Rufus. He won't pick up the phone. Oh, man, that Rufus is so dodgy. Look, my sink's been leaking for weeks. My heater hasn't worked in months. And my refrigerator's busted, so now it's too cold. Refrigerator too cold? Refrigerator's busted? supposed to be cold, Kenny. Yeah, I know that. It's just that the sensor inside that controls the temperature is busted, so my refrigerator thinks it's too warm inside and keeps blasting cold air. Man, this Rufus sounds like a real slumlord. He, he is. is. Look, man, we ought to do something about it. You know what? I'll brainstorm while I'm on the can. Hey, you know what? Hold up. I might not have no toilet paper in there. That's all right. That's what the magazines is for. What? This divorce is killing me. Uh -huh. Looks like Carolyn gonna get the Lincoln. Oh man, not the Lincoln. You you love that car more more than you love your kids. That was probably the reason for the divorce. <laughs> so what you gonna do? Man, I'm trying to put hundreds of miles on it a day. I carved my name on the side. It's all do that. And I'm putting raw fish in the seats. <laughs> You, you can't do that to a car you love. No, I love that car. Yeah. But I love, love, love imagining Carolyn getting that smell out. <laughs> oh, hey, have a seat right here. You can see we're not busy. I do see. Yeah. Uh, you know, man, I knew you weren't going to stay married. Oh, uh, what tipped you off? Well, on your wedding day, you were trying to escape through the bathroom window, and I had to drag your ass back in. I'll never forgive you for doing that either. <laughs> hey, actually, uh, do y'all have a bathroom in here? Uh, yeah, man, right down the hall there. Uh, that was great. That was great. Oh, oh, oh my damn! No, 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 I know my body is something that's definitely broken, and I think it's my ass. And if it is, you paying for it. I'm sure it's just bruised. Yeah. Oh, God. Okay. All right. Come on. Oh, All right. Get, oh, easy. Oh, easy. get your hands off of me, oh, both of you. Oh, okay. okay. Man. Uh, now I got to face it. The floor was wet, and what? I can't get up. Call the police. What are you talking about? This floor is dry. No, it's not. We don't even mop in here. Mm -mm. It's not. Oh, God. Oh, God. You know. It, it's nothing that a, a few free haircuts can't fix. How about that? Nah, man. Oh, that's not the type of settlement I'm talking about. Huh? So I'll see you at court. Tell it to the judge. So this guy is, is really trying to sue you now? Yeah. You guys have to help me figure this out. I would ask Cheryl, but she's out of town. So who are you going to get to represent you? I'll do it. They used to call me Smitty L. Cochran. If the hat fits, you must have quit. <laughs> well, thank you, Smitty, but I'd like to win. Why don't you just represent yourself? Did I ever tell you about the time that I defended myself in court? Yeah, I need a drink. Uh, you guys want anything? <laughs> Christmas Eve, 1997. I was dressed up as Sandy Claus, coming home to give my girl some presents. Mm -hmm. Now, admittedly, Sandy had had a few too many eggnogs that evening. <laughs> was uh, Santy driving his own sleigh? Santy was responsible and caught a cat. 
Unfortunately, being a little bit tipsy, Santa allegedly wandered into a neighbor's house and got arrested for breaking an entry. However, I didn't hire some hotshot swindler to represent me. I decided to defend myself in court. So I showed up at the court, dressed as Santa Claus, told my story, and passed out presents to the jury. What, what, what happened? I was found not guilty of breaking an entry, but guilty of 12 counts of jury tampering. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know what, Smitty, as, as dumb as your story sounds, I, I don't need a lawyer. Yeah, you may not need a lawyer, but we do. Because what's going down in our apartment is a crime, man. I don't have enough money for a lawyer, Kenny. Hey, you know what? Hey, hey don't worry about it. You know, I think I got something even better. It's going to cost us a whole lot less. I ain't buying it. Man, I mean, you look like you're going to the club. No, man, I'm ready. This is Inspector Gadget. Let me tell you something. Listen, okay. I've been studying, and now I'm D Douglas Prince. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Rich dude. Who are you? I want my rent. We already paid rent. We gave it to Rufus. <laughs> Rufus? Look at my face. Do I look like Rufus? You see any Rufus in there? Huh? Rufus is my cousin, and I'm not proud of that. Where the hell is Rufus? Rufus is at an undisclosed location for an extended vacation due to unpaid child support payments. Now, I am acting landlord, and I want my rent. You didn't get the notes that, that we left by the door? I got the notes you left on my door. Them notes was from Rufus. I'm Jarvis. Jarvis? Nice to meet you. I'm Smitty. Mm -hmm. This is Kenny. We got some problems with our apartment. Well, how may I help you, gentlemen? Oh, well, my refrigerator's running too cold. Well, I suggest you run after it and catch it. <laughs> I, I need you to come up and fix my bathroom. Now my toilet's more clogged up than Fat Albert's artery. What's the matter, Smitty? You can't hold it in? Okay, how about I won't fix your toilet, I will unplug your refrigerator, and I will only raise your rent a little bit. And who's this? A new roommate? Because if it is, I'm sure enough going to raise your rent. No, no, man, he, he's not my roommate. He's just my friend. What is you, the pastor of a non-profit organization? Huh? Cheap suit? No money? Get it? This is my work uniform. Oh, oh, really? Well, what kind of work do you do, pray tell? I'm a building inspector. <laughs> yeah, what? A building inspector? Oh, is that what this is? And I must say, Mm -hmm. I don't like the tone and the attitude in which you speak to your tenants over their very reasonable demands. Oh, right. what? And I'm also not in love with the various building and safety code violations I seen as I was roaming around the building. You ain't got to report that, dude. Well, it's my job to literally report that. <laughs> well, don't. If you do, we gonna be homeless. And I can't have it. It's cold. So, uh, just give me a little time, and I'll fix everything. I'll get it done. All right, we have a full docket here. First up, civil matter of Mr. Dwayne Johnson. Is that correct? Uh, that is correct, Your Honor. No relation to The Rock, though. Okay, Mr. Dwayne Johnson versus Mr. J. Weaver. Seems like we got a pretty straightforward slip and fall matter. Opening statements. Go. My client, Mr. Dwayne Johnson. Uh. Yeah. Dwayne Johnson went to get a haircut. And, and who amongst us hasn't needed a haircut every now and again? I know I have, right? <laughs> Might be due for another one again soon. You hide. Oh. But what started as a simple errand turned deadly. When the defendant left the floor wet. Mm. And now he must pay. Mr. Weaver? Uh, uh, yeah, Your Honor. Now, I don't have a fancy lawyer or big fake injuries, but what I do have on my side is the truth. I'll be the judge of who has the truth on their side up in here. I'm trying to help. I, I got this. Let's call the witnesses. Go. Seems like a fake fall to me on dry floor. <laughs> a fake fall. Your Honor. Just step up in the well. I, oh, uh, permission? Deputy Allah, get off of me. <laughs> <laughs> a fake fall, huh? Mm. On dry floor. <laughs> oh, no further questions, Your Honor. And you could tell the floor was dry just by looking at it? 
That is correct. You know what else looks dry? The freeway, right after it rains. But hydroplaning causes thousands of accidents a year. And my client hydroplaned right through this man's barber shop. And for that, Jay, you will pay. That is exactly what happened. I could have died in there. I'm not gonna take this man. No justice, no peace. No justice, no peace. No justice, no peace. No justice, no peace. This is not ghetto court. Yes, my bad. One more outburst from either of you and you will be facing contempt charges. No cap. My apologies, Your Honor, but my point stands. Damn, he good. I'm a real lawyer like you for my divorce. Dang, you all starving like Marvin. Oh, man, we're celebrating. Look, Terrence put the fear of God into Jarvis, man. Look, he's been working all day, and we finally gonna have some smoke detectors. Yeah, we paying for this whole thing, man. Terrence, you were so believable, you deserve an Oscar. You know, they're giving them to black people these days. <laughs> I thought you was gonna shut that building down for sure. I did. What? Huh? Man, I was so into character, I actually turned in all my paperwork. And they gonna shut y'all's building down. And um, what do your duties entail at the barbershop? Uh, I like to plead the fit. <laughs> Kelly! What? Oh, look, man, you're the force of habit. Uh, full of, uh, you know, I, I, you know, opening and, uh, closing. Uh, you know, uh, photoshopping my license up to date. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> cutting hair, of course. Uh, mopping up the floor. Ah! Mopping! <laughs> and, and, and did you mop the floor the day of question? Uh, no, no, I did not. Did not. No mopping that day. <laughs> well, no further questions. <laughs> Your witness. Your Honor, permission to approach? Yes. Mr. Clark, isn't it barbershop code to clean the floor every day? Uh, yes it is. But you didn't mop the floor that specific day. Uh, well, you know, I was gonna come in and, and, and mop the floor at the, at the end of the day. Ah, at <laughs> the end of the day. Yeah. So, could the floor have been wet from the previous day? No, no, well, you know, water, no. water dries overnight. Yeah. So, there haven't been any incidents prior to people slipping at the barbershop? No, no, not at all. Yeah. Interesting. Uh, well, according to a key witness, didn't your co-worker Smitty slip and break his leg? Oh, yeah, yeah, he did slip and break his leg. Hey, Jay, remember that no, time Smitty no, no, went no, and slipped no, it? No, 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 Break my Go, belt hey, off. Hey, 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 thank you, brother. Order! See, what are we gonna do? Look, I don't know. Crash on Jay's couch? Both of us? You right, we won't fit. Sorry, feet smell so bad, I'm surprised the military don't use them for weapons. What? Man, look, man, I'm about to hit Terrence's ass up, dude. He's the one that got us into this mess. Well, I'm sure you have all heard the news. And I spoke to my cousin Rufus, and I can't believe the way he's been handling this building. I apologize. And I think that we should finish the rest of those beers that y'all got in the freezer that I know that's in there so that we could just make a toast to each other before we all home. Here you go, man. To strip mall massage parlors. To strip mall massage parlors. <laughs> Wait a minute, this beer's frozen solid. I was trying to tell your cousin, man, the fridge is too cold. Well, too late to worry about that now. Tomorrow, we gonna be homeless. Your Honor, seeing as how my client has injured his coccyx. His, his what? His ass bone. He's physically incapable of taking the stand. And we have no further questions. All right. Mr. Weaver. Uh, yeah. Um, uh, listen, man, I, I don't have any gotcha questions. I'm just asking you brother to brother. Did you fake this fall? Objection. What is this name? The witness. I, 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 I just want to answer. 
You want answers. Yeah, yeah, well, I think I'm entitled to them. You want answers. I, I, I want the truth. You can't handle the truth, man. <laughs> yeah, because the truth is, I slipped and fell at your barber shop. Yours. And you know you in the wrong because you offered me free haircuts for a year. Remember that? I, I, Mr. Weaver, is that true? Well, yeah, I... Well, yeah, I, uh, yeah, I offered him a haircut because he, he fell. No, he up, uh, yes. no, yes, no. You offered him free haircuts because he felt responsible. No, no. And, and that was an admission of guilt. Yeah, 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 whose turn is it to ask questions here? <laughs> Everybody put their hand down. Mr. Weaver, it'll be 12 o'clock with you straight up. This has been the worst court presentation I have ever seen. <laughs> yeah, uh-huh. You, sir. Oh. In fact, I'm gonna save us all some time. I'm ready to rule in favor of the- Oh, my bad. Am I in the wrong place? Oh, my goodness, I'm just trying to fight a speeding ticket. This fine cop pulled me over, and I was flirting trying to explain to him about the love research I do for science. You know that sucker doubled my ticket? Man, traffic court is three doors down. I'm sorry, Your Honor. Mabel. Oh, hey, Jay, what you doing? Here. Yeah, well, I'm right in the middle of a slip and fall case. You're at the end of a slip and fall case. Well, Jay, I sure hope it works out. Shit. Good luck to you, buddy. Uh, hold up. Uh uh-uh. uh. Hmm? I know you. Hey. Oh, no. You don't want none of this, partner. Oh, I know you. Oh, what you talking about? It's you. Oh, oh yeah. No, it's not. Your Honor, who is this woman talking to my client? I'm going to allow it. I'm looking to see where this is going. A year ago, he came in my restaurant, what? ate, and left without paying. And I got the whole thing on video. Hey, uh, Mabel, you still have the video? Hell yeah, I got it. And he came in there with his little dusty ass lady. No. Trying to impress her. No. She gonna order the last of the fried chicken knuckles. Now, Mabel, are you sure? I, I, I mean, it's been over a year. Hell yeah, I'm sure. And I would have tracked him down sooner had he not given me a fake name. <laughs> Stephen... Wonder. Oh, I didn't see that coming. Uh, objection, Your Honor. On what grounds? On, on that. D- 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 this looks really bad for my case. Uh huh. What? No. Uh, Your Honor. First of all, is there a sobriety test we can give her? Cause he smells like alcohol. And if you really had a video, you could just show everybody right now. But you don't. How about, I just beat your ass right now. Oh. Oh, oh no. 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 Your Honor, he, he ran out here without his, his crutches here. <laughs> in light of all this new evidence, uh-huh. the gavel will come down in favor of the defendant. Uh-huh. This matter is dismissed. <laughs> Case closed. Yeah. Oh, yeah, but this meal, this time, is on Jarvis. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what make y'all think I'm going to pay for all this. Yeah, well, you ain't going to be able to resist when you hear what we did. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay, I'm listening. Oh, we got the housing board off your back. What? <laughs> <laughs> How did you do that? <laughs> Bribe the government official. How much did that cost? Free haircuts all summer and five orders of maple snakeskin cotton. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, let's just be a lesson to you, okay? What happens in the dark? Always comes to the light. Which works out better when the lights are on. Yes. Yeah. Well, you know, that landlord thing, I'm starting to take a little serious. So I'll have everything around here fixed and good. Scout sign. I don't believe you was a scout. Can you tie a monkey knot? <laughs> hey, I take a couple dollars off of your rent. Look, Mabel, no, no, Mabel. Jarvis, look, as much as I would like those dollars off of my rent, Mabel is not the move you want to make. I mean, she'll have you dropping off those rent payments to her. Oh, well, see, ain't nothing wrong with a woman who know what she wants. See? That's what's wrong with you boys. Y'all cowards, afraid of a good time. <laughs> ain't nothing wrong with a woman with a few years under her experience meter. You know, rub her swollen ankles or the purple veins on her hamstring. Ain't nothing wrong. <laughs> Don't even go there. <laughs> oh, I hear you homo sapiens disgusting me. Mm-hmm. Look, just because I dated Smitty don't mean I like them all old. Oh. I like my men young and too broke to say no. Okay, so do we even need to ask? 
Well, after all that talk y'all did about bucket lists, I decided to knock number three off my list, Kung Fu Master. Wait, wait, if that was number three, then, then what were the first two? Dancing with wolves and building a whole house out of nothing but popsicle sticks. I always wanted to go to the deep, deep hills of Shanghai and practice Kung Fu so I could float through South Central kicking ass and taking names. Wait, wait, hold up, man. That sounds like a plot from a black exploitation film from the 70s, man. Yeah, uh, look, see, you, you just can't become a, a Kung Fu master overnight. Back up. <laughs> okay. Now look here. I thought you would say that, what? but it could happen, Jay. Go ahead and come at me and throw a punch. Ah, oh, Smitty, I don't want to. Look, I just... <laughs> <laughs> What you do that for? You just told me to hit you. You said you were a kung fu master. Yeah, well now I gotta go to the bathroom faster. <laughs>